Second Division One match of the season. Here we go. What's up, Simply Dad? Thank you so much for that follow. Thanks for tuning in to our first match of the day in Division One. We're back on heels is crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're usually a tank, right? Now that I think about it, I was playing with them in some of in some pickup games recently in the Ragu server. What's up, Bell? Good to see ya. All right, looks like Arc Bladed gonna be coming out on the Diva. Jacob's already ready on the Zarya. Mijong Tower is the pick of Eclipse. As a reminder, every team gets two home games and two away games. Home just means you get the first map pick. Dinks gonna dink Sunless Fiber there for the opening pick. Putting Hunters up one. Eclipse already backing up a bit. Pizza Hut moving in on the Tracer. Providing some more pressure, and they should be able to cap here without problem. Just one kill is all they'll need. Eclipse gonna have to regroup completely. Jacob getting nice and charged already, building up. Never mind. It looks like a higher beam, but it was only like 10. Hunters in control of the point. Eclipse already getting this next attack, though. Arc Bladed moving in on the Diva, pressuring the point. Curious to see if they're going to swap the Diva here now that Jacob is on the Zarya. I guess we'll see next time they respawn. Just kind of unlucky coming out onto that. Clips officially on the point now. Dinks already has Bob ready to go. Let's see if he comes out. Going around the side here. And here it comes. Both Bob's actually going to make an appearance. I didn't realize Psycho also had theirs. Psycho narrowly misses a shot there that would have taken down Dinks. Boosty Horo is going to boot Connie Fan off the side of the map. And it looks like Hunters are going to stabilize here. Got scary for a moment, though. Not before Psycho takes out Pizza Hut Official. But Hunters still going to be all right. They lose a couple players, but they're going to weather the storm there. They're moving past to 50% now, so over halfway to this first objective. I am curious if Eclipse has other players on the way, though, because like I said, some players in right now are not on their lineup. Like, Mr. Bustdown wasn't supposed to start on support. Psycho and Connie Fan... Well, Connie Fan was in the lineup. Psycho wasn't in the original lineup. So I'm curious if the two players that they did have for Eclipse are going to be here soon. So maybe this isn't, like, their full lineup here. For the raffle, you are 100% right. Let's get that raffle. Meanwhile, Sunless is going to take out Dinks, but three kills answered immediately by Hunters. That 500 token raffle is up. You can enter with exclamation mark raffle. We'll do a 500 token raffle every map of the day. Grab's going to come out for Jacob. Not going to be able to snatch Heartbladed. And a strong start for the Hunters, as they do not lose a single percentage point. Clips needs their flex support, that's it. And limit on DPS. Interesting. Because in the lineup I saw, it looked like it was Mr. Bust on DPS. Alright, hold on. Let me do a little bit of bug fixing. Ignore this. Ignore this real quick. Ignore this, ignore this, ignore this. There we go, I fixed it. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. I know there's a way to like edit it without it going live, but I'm bad at, at, uh, at Streamlabs. Alright. Round number two, both of our tanks are going to be on a different tank here. Looks like Arcblade are going to be coming out on the Reinhardt Jacob swapping over to the Winston. Different heroes all around, it looks like, besides... They're going to keep the same DPS of Dinks on Ash and Pizza Hut on Tracer. Sunless Fiber going for a Mei and Psycho going for a Cassidy now. So very different look for the Eclipse team. Psycho, big early kill on Boosty Oro. Going to start the map off right for Eclipse. We'll see if they can get the follow-up kills they need to cap this point. Pizza Hut is going to get Mr. Bust down in the back, though, so that's support already down. But it looks like Eclipse is going to be alright. Psycho might die to fire here, though, unless his support looks at him. Ooh, just barely going to be able to get out of there. And Eclipse already a better start than the last round. They cap first here after getting that opening pick. Make sure to enter that raffle if you haven't yet. Exclamation mark raffle. Be 
doing one every single map of the day today. Arc Bladed getting very low. Wubak want to finish them off with a shot there. So that is the tank already down for Eclipse. Boosty Oro going to get a double kill. Boop off the map. Unfortunately, I missed it. I'm sure we'll see it in play of the game. And that is going to be enough for Hunters to flip it right back. They do lose their Lucio, but I'm sure they'll be back in just a moment. If we're looking at the alt situation here, we have Bob ready for Dinks. And really nothing online yet for Eclipse, but they might be able to build some stuff up in just a second. Connie fan's going to be getting close to this beat. They'll have a May alt soon. Psycho, another big opening pick. Now challenging Dinks. He's going to bring out Bob and make it a 5v5. Being pressured from both sides here. They do have beat if they need it, and they might because lots of players are getting low. Gonna be alright though. Gonna get the tank too and Bob. Gotta watch out for Bustioro, who's gonna get another boop this time on the fellow May player. We might have to start spectating Bustioro a little bit more. Sunless Fiber still trying to fight and keep their team in it, but not gonna matter. It looks like Eclipse had that fight there when they got the tank, but maybe not. Now Arc Bladed might be in trouble here. We're gonna need a lot of help from the supports. And looks like they'll be able to get out. Eclipse now, lots of ults to work with, but really no shortage of ults on Hunters as well. Both teams gonna have a window. And a couple other ults to work with here. And here they come. Gonna be ults out for both teams. Psycho gonna be the first casualty, goes down to Jacob's Primal Rage. Paul spawn ready for Pizza Hut, we'll see if it comes out. I thought it might have came out right there. Ooh, good play by Mr. Bustdown, though, to take out the Tracer, pressuring them. And actually, it's going to be Eclipse getting it done. Mr. is cook cooking. We got we to gotta spectate him more often. I think he's just going for boops. All right, still lots of alts on both teams. We have a Shatter for Arc Bladed. One big shatter could be all they need, and they don't have any mitigation against it because Jacob is now on the Doom Fist. So if that shatter lands, you're cooked. And they are just going to drop it right on Jacob. Great play, though, by Bustioro, using the beat at the perfect time when their tank is going to be vulnerable. And it might be the difference between them winning this fight. One pick on either side. Hunter's now with a three to four player advantage. Arc Blade is going to make it three to three, gets Wu back. Bustioro puts it in favor of the Hunters again. One shot tank is going to go down and Sunless Fiber going to go down as well. Hunters are going to come out on top of that team fight. Clips might have a touch here. And if they don't, then that's going to be the first map in the books. No alts except Bob. They're going to have to touch now. And two kills from Hunters, three kills. I mean, Arc Bladed does get Wu back, but this is probably over. Just two players alive, one player alive. Just going to be the D.Va, and once they go down, Hunters are going to take map number one. You know, the last time these teams faced off each other was actually the Division One Finals last season. It was a pretty close one. It ended 4-2. to two. But Hunters came out on top. Winner of the first raffle is unlikely, Jaren. Next one is started right now. You can enter with exclamation mark raffle. First round on Li Zhang, not super close, but the second one was. Ragu Koldiva Cry. Glix, thank you so much for that tier one. And with three, your tomato fully ripened. <laughs> at a red tomato thanks so much clicks also like i said to looney congrats on the win yesterday phantoms look good man and a stack bread there you go <laughs> that's hype <laughs> all right here we go Map number two. We're going to have a couple swaps here for Hunters. No swaps for Eclipse running back the same lineup. I thought it might be possible. They might have some swaps in there, but I don't know. Maybe they have some no-shows. We're going to have I Let It Crest 2 coming in for Jacob on tank. We're going to have Inu coming in for Pizza Hut. And everybody else is staying the same. 
Ooh, we might be seeing some Juno from Boosty URL. That's a cool skin. I'm not sure if that's one of the default ones, but it looks nicer than the one I use. <laughs> All right, different tanks for both squads. We're gonna have D.Va on Hunters for the first time, and we're gonna have Ramatra for Arcbladed. So Arcbladed now dueling a different tank. Jacob gonna sub out for Islet Crust. Eclipse taking control of the point first. Dinks in the back. Dinks now on the Tracer. They were playing the Hit Scan in that last map. <laughs> oh, gonna be taken down there though. Big shot from Connie fans, so. Both teams gonna lose a DPS. I let Crust take an a ton of heat though. And now Eclipse actually gonna be able to force them back. Gotta be careful not to lose anybody. But it looks like they're gonna be alright. Eclipse taking the first flash points. Give me one one second. Alright, and Flashpoint goes quick. We're already about halfway through this first Flashpoint. Hunter's coming around the left side. Inu gonna get a big kill on Psycho. So with that opening frag, they can get in a little bit closer. Dink's gonna get a second follow-up kill. So that's two. Just gotta finish off the rest of them. And it looks like they will. Just arc bladed left. We're gonna take them out there. And they're gonna flip it at about 72. <laughs> you casually say I let it cross. Well, it was funny when Jacob, when Jacob subbed in the I let it cross player, <laughs> he said, let it crust for me. And I thought he was just like, I, did, I thought he was just flexing or something. I'm like, that's a really weird thing to say to ego somebody. And then I looked at the, the subs and saw there was a guy named I let it crust in the lineup, which is funny. Arcblade is going to pop the Ramatra ult. Actually, lots of ults coming out. We're going to have a player go down on either team. Arcbladed, though, taking too much heat. And looks like Hunters are going to weather the storm here. They even keep some of their ultimates. And it's going to be tough. We'll see if Eclipse has time to touch here. Probably if Eclipse does touch, it'll be final fight. And the team that wins this upcoming team fight is going to win this first point. Need Eclipse to win this. Do you have, do you have channel points on him, Looney? It doesn't look like you bet. Or are you saying for more raffles? <laughs> That'd be funny. All right, so Eclipse is able to get it in time, but Dinks is going to get a double kill. It does cost their life, but that's a two for one trade. But it looks like Eclipse not going to be able to get it done here. Too many Hunters players. But Eclipse does have lots of utility for this second flashpoint. They have everything except the tank alt. Meanwhile, Hunters is the opposite. They only have the tank alt. So a four to one alt ratio going to this next flashpoint. Hunters are gonna get there first and be able to set up shop. But if Eclipse play their cards right, they have a big hand that they can throw at these guys. Well, don't be too critical of Eclipse. I mean, this is the defending champion they're going up against right now as their first match, which is, that's tough. I mean, if you could imagine if their first match was against another team, like maybe like Legion, Sentinels, Phoenix, it might be a different story right now. So this is trial by fire, and they're honestly giving them a pretty good match. Lots of team fights going either way as we're seeing them use a couple ultimates here. Eclipse going to invest Window and Venture's ultimate to take the point first. Where's my goat mango memes? That's a good question. I saw mango memes in the chat earlier. And I have to have a word with these hunters. Not putting in my goat. <laughs> these tanks have stayed on the same tanks the entire map. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. In my diamond brain, I don't really think Ramatra versus D.Va really is too one-sided either way if you need to swap. But it's cool not seeing the constant counter swapping. Beat from Connie Fan. It's gonna allow Eclipse to engage here, but actually Sunless Fiber gonna be focused down and eliminated first, so they're in a 4v1. They're gonna get Bob though to make it a 5v5 again, and Psycho's gonna get Dinks from the back. Good shot. And now Arcblade is gonna keep going here. Gonna pop the Ramatra all. 
And if you're like, well, maybe that was too many alts, it doesn't matter. They just need the flashpoint. Might as well get it. And it looks like Eclipse gonna tie it up here. You know, ooh, almost getting taken down by Psycho. Psycho looking very good on the DPS. I think we only saw them play one map for Eclipse last season, and I'm kind of surprised because they're looking they're looking very good. Need to cast over the ash. Connie fan gonna boo, boo back out of that immortality field and get a big pick here. Hunter's gonna be down one. We'll see if they can get a trade. Looks like the tracer in the back looking for one. Too many players though. Psycho in trouble. He knew gonna finish him off. Arcblade quickly trades it. And it looks like Eclipse has the numbers. They just have to finish the fight strong here. I mean, Let It Crust still has max HP. They gotta deal with this Juno and Diva, and then they could cap first. Diva Bomb coming out. It does get Mr. Bust down though. So just these two players on point have held long enough that Hunter's reinforcements are here and they're going to lose their Baptiste, so that is all their focus healing. They just have a Lucio for healing now, which is not going to be enough to keep a Ramatra up long term. Looks like Eclipse will still be able to cap with some good plays from the DPS. But that got scary for a second. That was a great hold for a long time for Hunters, but unfortunately they're going to use some resources like Diva Bomb and not get anything out of it. And Let It Crust is going to match the Diva here. The Ramatra here. So both players now on the Ram. Clips already about halfway through. Wu back in trouble, taking tons of shots from Psycho. Now Psycho taking some shots from their own. But it's going to be Eclipse using the window to get a double kill. And Ina's going to be in trouble here as well. Ooh. I could feel that as I seen, saw the shadow coming through. I'm like, oh, that venture is just going to pile drive him right there. Eclipse turning the match on its head right now. Probably going to get this second flashpoint. Hunters are going to have one more shot, but all they have is a BAP window to work with. Really no utility at all. Meanwhile, we have Bob and Beats and probably... Well, never mind. That one's over. Sunless Fiber with a big... Big boop is going to push the Ramatra down into the water. Huge play on the venture is going to allow Eclipse to get this third checkpoint going up two to one. And Eclipse taking the lead. So after losing the first one, they come back to get the next two. Why is Jenny on support? He wasn't supposed to be on support from the lineup I saw. It looks like maybe they were expecting a support player to play today, but didn't make it. So actually, Mr. Bustdown moved to support, and then I think Psycho was subbed in. But Psycho's been looking great, so I don't think they really lost much of value. But that is why Mr. Bustdown's on support. All right, big objective number four. Eclipse have a chance to tie up the series. But Hunters could tie up the map. We'll see, and lots of ultimates coming out. Not holding back at all. A couple players gonna go down on both sides. Let It Crust is in trouble. Arcblade is still up and still has their block here. They're gonna be able to tank that Pulse Bomb. Unfortunately, Sunless Fiber is still gonna be caught by it. But Eclipse are gonna take it. And somebody's in trouble. Looks like Inu. <laughs> Gonna try and get out of there, and it's not gonna happen. And here comes Eclipse. Reinforcement's gonna get here in time for Eclipse before the Hunters are ready, so they have a fresh five to take on Hunters. And if we look at Hunters, I mean, still not the best alt economy. They're gonna get the Ramatra alt in a second. Wubak has window. But just not a lot of not a lot of utility. They're gonna use window to push Eclipse back, and they might try and cap here while the window's up. Arcblade is gonna do their best, but they're gonna be absolutely destroyed by the damage from the window. So hunters are gonna flip it at 77, but Eclipse really just need to flip it one more time, and then that would be the flashpoint. That would be the map, and we would be tied up one to one on the series. Clips still with some chances here. 
they have probably two chances for this flashpoint. And even if they lose this one, they have the last flashpoint that we haven't been to yet. And if we look at hunters, they do have what is the what is Ramatra all called? I cannot remember the name of that alt, dude. Rampage? No, that's Junker Queen. I don't know. <laughs> Ram alt. Someone help me. Someone will help me. Psycho Katinu. Winning the Ash 1v1 there with some help from Sunless Fiber. But it Crust is still going to put their ult in there anyway. Connie Pan going to use the beat though, and it's too much for I Let It Crust to handle, and that is probably going to be it. Bob going to get a double kill too. I d they don't have a touch, so that is going to be. Oh, they do have a touch. I didn't even see Dinks there, and I have walls on. Not going to matter though, they do sniff out the tracer. It, and it is enough time. They do get a touch, but probably not going to be enough. There's so much damage in, and they have really nothing to work with here except Bob and whatever the Juno ult's called. <laughs> I don't know that one either. Wubek does get a double kill. Wubek getting a triple kill on the Baptiste. Never mind. Oh my god, are they going to steal this control point at the last possible second? Wubek using the window to go on an absolute frag fest. And now it's Eclipse who's gonna might not be able to touch the point. They might give up on it here. They are. They're not gonna have time to touch it. We're going to the fifth flash point. What a huge play. Annihilation. Thank you. Appreciate that. Why is everyone saying Fortnite Storm? <laughs> oh, the Ramatra ult? That's funny. I've never heard it been called that before. All right, Let It Crust is swapping back to the D.Va. That might have been to touch point faster, and it worked. Clips barely losing that flash point, which would have tied this series up one to one. Inu gets the opening pick. Muster bust down, going down. Psycho ties it up. Back to Hunters. We're gonna get demeked in a second. Somehow not demeked. Still not demeked. Boost Yoro working overtime to heal up this D.Va and it's going to pay off big. Hunters are going to get the opening fight on the fifth flash point, turning it around. What's up, Zuri? Hexed. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong. Thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for tuning in to the matches today. Hunters in control, 30%. Clips getting ready. They do have the alt advantage for the time being. Annihilation and Venture alt. But the first kill is still gonna go to Hunters anyway. Gonna take out Psycho. A second kill. And this might be all falling apart for Eclipse. They're gonna have probably one more shot at this point and they don't really have a whole lot to work with. They'll have Bob, Beep, and Rampage. Maybe Window. It, it, dude, Eclipse is probably milliseconds away from winning. We were probably less than a second from that point being capped, and it would have been done right there. And it's just, it's an awful feeling to have that sort of turnaround. Dink's putting some pressure on the Tracer as Eclipse is coming back for their last possible chance to save this map. They do have some alts to work with. They might not want to use them all. Well, they already did. Never mind. Because they're going to have to try and hold it afterwards, too. For 99. So far, so good, though. They do get two kills. Arcbladed probably going to go down to Bob here, though. Bob going to get a little bit of revenge as they flip the point. So they will flip it, but now they're going to have to hold it for probably at least two team fights with absolutely nothing to work with. The only thing really saving them here is that Hunters don't have anything else either. I said Annihilation. I don't know the Venture alt, though. What's that one, like Earthquake? <laughs> I have no idea what the venture all is. All right, here come the Hunters. But one long team fight could be enough, you know? Pressuring Mr. Bust down on the Baptiste. Nearly goes down, but actually gonna get Dinks. Turns it around. Mr. Bust down, still one shot. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to survive with only a Lucio as the other support. Does go down, but it's a 4v4. Here comes the Diva Bomb. Blows up on point, doesn't get anything. Venture dropping right on them, 4v4, but so many Eclipse players are so low, they just have Lucio heals, and that is not going to be enough to weigh, outweigh the damage coming in on them right now. 
And so in a close one, a very close one, it is going to be Hunters taking it back at the end here. Very close map. Hunters going up two to one. Two to zero. Apologize. And here's that play from Wu. I don't think we saw it from his perspective. Let's take a look at it. This is what saved them right here. They would have lost this map for sure if this play didn't happen. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's juicy. Holy cow. Let me swap our little score widget because we're changing sides. And that is not the right score. Let me, let me update it. Not the right score, not the right score. Give it a moment to load. It can take up to 20 seconds, but it'll be right in just a second. There we go. All right, make sure you enter the raffle exclamation mark raffle to enter to get 500 tokens in our Discord server. <coughs> man, it wasn't a fluke. 62 again. Appreciate that, guys. I don't know, man. 75 average to get to Twitch partner, which would be huge for this channel in League if we're able to do that, so... Every league, every season, it goes up a little bit. Who knows? By season five, we might be able to get it done. Reverse sweep would be crazy. Honestly, Eclipse gets better every map, so it's not impossible, I'd say. Let's go over the substitutes. Both teams are going to get some subs. One second. Interesting. Mr. Bustdown still on the support. I thought Lemon coming in would have pushed Mr. Bustdown back to DPS. You know what happened to the last man I trusted? But Lemon you know will be coming That's in for fine. Psycho. Keep chasing me. For the Hunters, Smash is going to be coming in for I Let It Crust. And Jellyman is going to be coming in for Wooback Baby. Boost Euro is swapping to DPS. Jacob swapping to Support. So lots of swaps for Hunters, changing a lot of their roster. They did it a lot last season. Jelly Man GG's we lost. <laughs> Which lemon is this? It's a new one. It's not any of the other two lemons that we've seen. It's not the... Oh, wait, no, it is. It is. I believe this was the lemon that's been on Polar before. It's not the Guardian's lemon. And that's going to be even more confusing because Polar's had two different lemons. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It's a good player. That's all I got to know. All right, Hunter's on defense first. Clips getting a couple of picks, but Hunter's doing well to force them back with taking out the tank, so Clips gonna have to regroup here. Lemon gonna be snatched by Smash. Gonna finish off. Junker Queen. Interesting. I don't see a lot of Junker Queen on this map, but it's cool. Both teams running the Widowmaker. Lemon gonna swap off the Widowmaker though. Dink's still on it. Gonna just let Sunless walk into the crosshair there. Good waiting it out. Maybe they didn't see them. Mr. Bustdown though gonna quickly take out Dink. So both teams down a DPS. Lemon taking so much heat from Boosty Oro though. Both of them are gonna back up. Clips still wanting to go here, knowing that the Hunter's player is gonna have longer spawns. Coming around the side here. Putting up that shield. Smash looking in trouble right now. Going to be able to get the health pack, but not going to be enough. Sunless Fiber going to finish them off. And it looks like Eclipse is going to get at least two picks here. Two ticks here. Lemon with no fear jumping up on Dinks forces Jacob to come up as well. Both of them super low, and I'm sure the Venture is going to be able to put in the last couple shots. So Eclipse is going to take it. Not a whole lot of alts used so far, but a lot of alts ready to rip here. The tank alts getting close as well. Actually, every single player in this lobby is over 70% to their alt, so we're probably going to see an absolute alt dump in the next fight or so. And so it starts. Bob's going to come in for Eclipse. <laughs> Women never has any fear, just coach guns right up on the Widowmaker. That's scary. Works out that time, though. Dinks is going to be eliminated. Couple kills on both sides. Here comes the ultimate. Smash going to go ahead and use the Rampage. Lots of players anteed. Connie Fan finds Boost Yoro in the back. Arcbladed, though, doesn't want it to be over. Going to go ahead and use 
Annihilation chasing down a couple players, but in the staircase, the Annihilation is going to wear off. Still probably will get Jacob here. Might even get Smash. Probably will. It was a good evasive maneuver to make Annihilation go away, but still not enough to escape the giant robot. Dinks will find Lemon, though, which could be one less player for Eclipse to have as they attack this second objective. And Dinks kind of away from their team there, so Eclipse going to be knocking on the door of this. We'll see if Hunters try and stop them. Doesn't look like they will. I don't think they could if they wanted to. They were too far away from the payload. Spectate Connie? Of course. Mr. Bust down in trouble. Jacob going to deliver the final blow there. All right, here's the, the Connie content. The content <laughs> that you guys were requesting. Are we liking what we're seeing? All right, Jellyman gonna drop the Juno Alts. Immediately answered by the window, but Mr. Bustown gonna be taken down the second they use window. Connie fan gonna use beat. Sure, if anyone was low. Meanwhile, Sunless gonna get a kill on Dink, so Eclipse are still moving despite everything. Really showing those walls, who's boss? There you go. Dinks with a double kill on Widow. Might be play there. Forcing back Eclipse again. And that's the thing about Hybrid, man, that it doesn't really matter. That's a good shot. So, you can s go straight through those first two objectives. You can cap the point, get it right up the hill, but you can still just be stalled out in this third point forever, no and then all that progress just doesn't sight. matter. Get into this Smash is waiting for him. Can they see with the sights? Oh, they can. I was wondering why they were facing a wall. All right. So they know that Eclipse are going around the right side here. What is Dinks up to? <laughs> Saving private Dinks deep in the enemy territory. Not going to be able to get out. Interesting strategy. <laughs> but immediately losing their Widow is going to force them back. They almost lose their cast too. Goes down to under 10 HP. Gets finished off by Sunless. Dinks already coming back though. Jellyman, a pair on Juno, a triple on Juno. Might be seeing a little bit of a Juno play after this. Hunter's setting up for the next one. Clips really no utility except Annihilation as well. Lemon gonna go back to the Widowmaker shortly. And a boosty Oro, High Noon also gets Mr. Bust down. A double, a triple. Oh, never mind. Almost a triple. Lemon, though, gonna get him from a spawn. Got a little too excited. <laughs> Hold on, young fella. There's still a Widowmaker back there. But just Hunters doing a very good job of locking down this third objective. Lemon does get dinks this time, though. And so now they have a good 10, 20 seconds before the Widowmaker respawns to try and make some progress. <laughs> we can. You're funny, bro. Lemon really heating up. Dink's actually swapping to the Hanzo now. Still going to get the headshot, even though I would consider Hanzo definitely to be a Widow counter. Arcbladed trying to get it in here. Going to use this... Annihilation, but too many picks for Hunters, probably not going to happen. Getting a FaceTime from an unknown number. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I don't know who, bro, who, who FaceTimed someone they don't know. <laughs> That's scary. I should answer it. That'd be funny. I'm just in the middle of streaming. Hey, what's up? It's just some random dude. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> I don't know, head. I'm a little busy right now. I'll call you back later. All right. 
This great hold by Hunters is going to be tested one more time. Eclipse have one more chance. Oh, just barely missing on Zinks. They do have a window. Lemon is going to get Jacob. But Zinks is going to immediately counter it. And smash with a double, a triple. Give him the quad. Nope, Boost Yoro will steal it. <laughs> but that's all right. Hunter's going to hold. And... And the payload didn't even really make it down the hill, so... Usually, you'll see teams get stopped, like, right at that last spot. But it was actually stopped pretty far up the hill on third point. So, Hunters definitely have a chance to finish up this match right here. Alright, we're probably not going to finish in eight minutes. So, my Olympians players, my Misfits players, the protocol is if we go over... The set time you guys just kind of have to wait for the match to be over but we'll set it up immediately after the second this is after we'll set up olympians versus misfits king mango what's up thanks so much for that follow king mango i apologize i'm not sure which team you're on i see you're in this lobby but it's like look my spectate thing is like totally messed up it doesn't show me like who's spectating who but either way thank you so much for that follow So, Micro, I see you're in the chat. Are you going to be watching uh, Outliers phrases for some scouting? I definitely would be. I feel like those are definitely your two biggest threats in Div 3. So, I'm curious if you're going to be taking notes on it. And who does Evergreen play for their first match? I'm not I'm not even 100% sure. Let's check. Evergreen's going to face phrases. So, definitely want to get some notes. Spicy don't help him. I'm just thinking. He's probably going to do it anyway, Penguin. I was just asking if he was going to do it. Insane scouting will go down for Div 3. That's what I like to hear. Spicy, why do Div 4 matches become 4 Div 3 matches? So I let the... I let the players in the divisions choose which time slot they wanted to play in. Division 1 got to choose first. Division 2 got to choose next. Division 3 wanted the latest time slot. And Division 4 didn't get a choice, sadly, because they're Division 4, so they just get to play whenever <laughs> whenever is left. So it looked like it was supposed to be on order with 1, 2, 3, 4, but really it could have been any order. If Division 1 wanted to play at 7, I would have let them play at 7, but they wanted 4. So Hunter is going to take that first point while I'm babbling. I'm going to start moving. They have their win condition. If they can get the payload to the yellow spot on the map, they are going to win their opening match. Like I said, these teams, the last match that both of them played was against each other in the Division 1 Finals last season. Hunters did end up winning that. They have a chance to get another win on this team here if they can get to the payload to the end of the map. Sunless and Dinks with Adventure 1-on-1. -on -one. Sunless going to win that one. Lucioro is going to find a tank. Mr. Bustdown getting a double kill on the Baptiste, but probably not going to be enough since Hunters still have their tank alive. Now probably going to be another victim of Smash here. Smash just locking this Junker Queen and not playing anything else. It's fun to watch. I don't really know anything about them. I don't know if they're like a Junker Queen player, Junker Queen one trick, but either way, it's always cool to see some Junker Queen that's not Kumbo, because that guy stinks. <laughs> I'm kidding, Kumbo, I love him. Time for the reckoning. Already approaching the second point, and Arcblade is going to go down again, so Eclipse still without a tank. Their tank had the long spawns, came back, and was immediately focused and eliminated. Probably aren't going to have time to touch this, and Hunters are going to have an insane time bank to get this in. What's up, Luca? Yo, Luca, I think Jellyman is going to get the play of the game this match. Did you see it? Play of the game on Juno. Pretty insane. Lemon! 
is really the only player for Eclipse lighting up this kill feed right now. Every time I spectate off of them, they're going to get like two or three kills on the Widowmaker. Desperately trying to keep Eclipse in this. Oh, okay. That was their Ramatra shield. <laughs> there it is again. Waits out. Jacob gets the shot. Finishes off Dinks. The little assist from Sunless. And Eclipse have all five ults. Not for nothing. But they are going to have to hold this for four and a half minutes. Which is a long, long time. We'll watch when the match is over. It'll be over in like four minutes. It was... I didn't see it either. I just saw the kill key. But I'm sure it was clean. This match is still going? Yes, this match is still going. But it might be over four minutes. Holy! Oh, <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> My entire screen just got filled with fluorescent lights. I don't even know how to commentate what just happened. Ooh. Nice shot from Lemon and they'll wave hi to Dinks. Banter is on for this match. I haven't seen a lot of it yet. No one's really been going at it, but they did both agree to banter. So they can teabag each other, they can call each other names if they want. It's nothing personal. What just happened? Who knows? That was something else. My entire screen like lit up white. Lemon single-handedly shutting down this map. And I'm curious if they're going to keep the Junker Queen here. Because it's not really... You can't really dive the Widow. You can't really provide cover to the rest of your teammates. I don't know. Lemon is really turning this map. They have three minutes to try and hold Huntress here. And they could get him out. My god, Alina. <laughs> the Eclipse used every alt they had. I think every player used every alt they had. Like, look right now. There's no alts right now. I think everybody ulted. Dinks will get Sunless Fiber, but they are going to still have to worry about the Widow up there. Boosty Oro does take a headshot, but will be able to finish off Lemon. So finally, they take the Widow off her perch, and they are going to be able to move in a little bit. But man, Eclipse held that little area there for over three minutes. Just holding right outside second point. Lemon does have Sights again coming back from spawn. Gets Jellyman up top. And we'll see if Hunter's just completely disengaged and head back. Alright, sounds good, Ghostly. Like I said, yeah, Misfits Olympians might be pushed back a little bit, but we will just start as soon as it happens. Under two minutes. See if Hunters can make a move to finish off the map. They do take out Connie Fan. Lemon nearly taken out by Boosty Oro. Still might be Boosty Oro assassinating the Widowmaker. Might be punished here. The Venture turning around. Arcbladed desperately in need of HP, though. Not going to happen. Sunless Fiber also going to be taken down. They're going to try and push it in here. Connie Fan still the lone man alive. Does get the health back. Tries to jump on the point. It's not going to happen. Almost a great clutch up there by Eclipse. Every single map was fun to watch. The scoreboard not going to reflect how close that actually was. And I'm sorry, it looks like <laughs> Jellyman did not get play with the three kills on Juno. I thought a three kill Juno. Like a... What was I trying to say? I thought three kills on Juno would definitely be play. That was like one kill. How was that play? 